Welcome to the vlog. It is about 6 a.m. and I just finished up at the gym. All I did was get some lists in and I did 30 minutes on the spin bike. Oh, I mean, no, I didn't. I did an hour on the spin bike and I wanted to quickly talk about this because the video I posted right before this one, like the way in Wednesday, I did, which was last night, I did an hour on the elliptical and I talked in that one about how when my anxiety and my mental health like aren't the greatest or in the greatest spot, it is just easier for me to go and do some low intensity or steady state cardio and because I just don't have to think about anything, it's the easiest it's just the easiest for me and it's better than nothing so i'm allowing myself to do that and i also wanted to mention that like my day-to-day -day life is extremely extremely sedentary i work from home as an attorney so i'm literally sitting at my desk all day every day i used to commute into dc so at least i would be like walking to the metro and then walking from the metro to work and then probably going out to lunch with some coworkers, or at least getting one coffee a day and walking to the coffee shop and then going back to work and then walking to the metro and then walk you know i got steps in before just like functioning day to day and increasing my like neat and overall like daily expenditure but right now if i don't go for a daily walk or like just do some low intensity cardio. I barely move my body during the day. So that's why I like to do as much as I do. Obviously you don't have to. So it's been a little while since I've talked to you. Um, I obviously showered and got ready for the day. Nothing fancy, but here we are. I also have been working here at home because the library doesn't open up until 10. So it is almost 9.45 now, so I have my bag packed up with my like work stuff, but I have my water bottle filled up as well. I'm also bringing some, I just got these candy grapes a couple days ago from Trader Joe's, so I washed and packed some of those, and I'm going to be bringing this to have for lunch just because I actually don't have like anything else prepped that I could easily grab. I also already had a protein coffee right after I showered, just in case you're wondering. It is now like 5.30, I just finished up working and um, my boyfriend and I are gonna go on a walk with his parents' dog. He hasn't been out today and it's freezing. I have on like a hundred layers and I'm looking like, like this. You're a mad boy, but I'm confused. Shouldn't you be keeping me at 10 when you're two? I can't help but feel sympathetic, I do. You think you're bad boy, but I feel bad for you. Think you're bad boy, think you're bad boy, think you're bad, think you're bad, but I feel bad for you. I'm not even mad, I'm not even mad, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I just feel bad for you. I was pretty when I met ya. actually going to get an updated DEXA scan today so that is super fun I'm not gonna take you along for the DEXA scan because 
I'm too embarrassed to, but I have one more in March and that's like my last well i bought a pack of like four and so this is gonna be my third in a year and then um my fourth one i have to do in march so i might have the courage by then we will see but it is really cool and i know people are curious and i know at 270 pounds when i did the first one i waited till i lost almost 50 pounds to even do the first one and that's probably what i regret the most but i also don't know what the weight limit is on these so um but yeah i'll show you the scans and the results when i get back okay, so i've been back for a little while um i've just been working very exciting stuff over here but i wanted to show you this i just picked them up from the grocery store um and they're interesting so if you've tried these let me know what you think about them because i i'm not completely sure how i feel about them um but they're the loaded sausage bites from jimmy dean these are the turkey sausage egg and cheese ones they had different they had like a meat lovers and something else but i think it was even higher in fat and these are already kind of high in fat it's 240 um, calories, 16 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbs, and 19 protein. So, like, good on the protein front, but definitely, like, higher fat than most of my breakfasts, breakfast, breakfasts are. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show you this. I put a little bit of hot sauce on them. This is what they look like. There's, like, little sausage balls, but that's what I'm eating. Well, it is, like, 5 p.m., we are going on a walk. You haven't missed much. I've just been working. Um, but I don't think I'm going to go to the gym today. Um, it'll take a day off. But we are getting a walk in. We're walking to uh, UPS in our neighborhood actually to drop off a box. So that's why I'm wearing a book bag. Looking real cool. I'm not even mad, boy, but I'm confused. Shouldn't you be keeping me a town when you're too? I can't help but feel sympathetic. I do. You think you're bad boy, but I feel bad for you. Think you're bad boy, think you're bad boy, think you're bad. Think so a mistake has been made, and um, I thought we needed UPS, and that's why we went at 5 p.m. because they're open until 7. But we needed USPS, which was not open at 5, and we had both um, in our neighborhood. So um, that was a bust, but we still got to walk in even though it's freezing. And, oh, we went to the Dollar Tree because it's in the same shopping center for warmth mostly. But now they have the like, what was it called? Big deal section or something. Um, and they have the stuff for like $3 and $5 instead of just a dollar. And a lot of people had a lot of things to say about that. Let me know what you think. Also, an update from yesterday. We didn't go to the library today because yesterday when I went to work, um, while my car was parked and we were inside, somebody hit my car. Luckily, they it wasn't like that big of a deal. It's mostly a scrape, I think, on the front. But, and they left a note, so thank God they didn't like just leave. But, you know. Well, I'm finally all warmed up and now I'm sitting down to have dinner. It is the same thing I had in the last video, just some green beans and cilantro lime rice and steamed shrimp with Old Bay and I'm very excited to eat this. <laughs> well, I'm back. I never really show how much I eat because I don't think it's that helpful to anyone. Um, I know in the weight loss surgery community, especially on like Instagram and stuff, it can get a little toxic to be like, and on the Facebook pages, like you can eat that much. Like I can only have two bites of that and I would have been full. And like, that doesn't help anyone at all. Like everyone has different stomachs even after the same surgery and everyone has different nutrition needs. And I just, there's a lot of reasons, but I didn't finish that. There are days that I did finish the shrimp, but there are days that I could have and probably a little bit more, but I don't, I just, the last two days I haven't been that hungry. My stomach's been kind of hurting, but I'm usually not that hungry around like when I ovulate and 
that's where we're at in my cycle in case you're wondering but I also forgot that I never went over my like DEXA scan results this is my like, DEXA scan hopefully I was like I don't think it shows private information but um yeah no it doesn't but I think I might do a separate video comparing like the three DEXA scans I've done so far I'm gonna keep doing more I really like doing it I'll probably do it until I hit like my goal weight but I think I'm gonna do a separate video let me know in the comments if you'd be curious to see the results because it is super interesting like there's a bunch of pages it's cool I really like doing it and it usually makes me feel better about myself <laughs> so highly recommend doing a DEXA scan if you haven't checked it out and keep an eye out for a future video coming if you want to see my results but in this video I don't think I've done a sit down chat and I always have a sit down chat and have something to say but recently like the last three or four days I haven't been tracking and I take breaks from tracking every now and then now as I am almost a year out so I'll be a year out in a week and I did want to touch on though if you're early on in your weight loss journey or like whether you had surgery or not just if you're early on in your weight loss journey if you've never tracked before if you just had bariatric surgery I don't think eating intuitively is the right strategy to use and again this is just my opinion I think well it's not just my opinion there's a lot of studies on it and a lot of people also say this but maybe I'll do a video with a bariatric dietitian because I think that would be a cool series too but the main thing when you're trying to lose weight or gain weight is your caloric intake to gain weight you have to be in a caloric surplus to lose weight you have to be in a caloric deficit like that is the bottom line and weight loss surgery is a tool to help you do that but without tracking your intake especially after weight loss surgery when the protein like requirements are so high and because of most bariatric patients history with food I don't understand why you like wouldn't track like one serving sizes you get to actually learn serving sizes you get a food scale you learn what one serving size of ranch dressing is or one serving size of cheese or one serving size of wine or chips or popcorn or anything like that. popcorn is less of a big deal because it's pretty low calorie but you know what I mean and and with meat to make sure you're trying to get enough protein in just yeah I don't intuitive eating is a tool to use after you already have like a baseline like you already kind of know your maintenance level you already know like once you know your maintenance level you can go above or below that a little bit but you also already know serving sizes you already know how many calories is in something oh my gosh peanut butter like yeah, I don't even like a banana. Like if you look at my fitness pal, there's like 18 different bananas that come up with different calorie amounts, different carb amounts, and without weighing your banana or seeing how many grams your actual banana is, how do you know what you're actually consuming? And then again, it's not like an exact science and it like you don't have to be insane about it, but after bariatric surgery especially, but even if you're just trying to lose weight, I think you really have to wait to eat intuitively because that's a whole separate skill but I just been seeing things on Instagram about this it's probably like what a random freaking topic to lecture on and on about today but that's just my you know hot take for the day I do know um tracking and stuff like that can become like obsessive and a problem for people and that's why I do think it's good to have like breaks of tracking but I think you have to do it first before you take a break you know what I mean I don't know hopefully this makes sense and again there's always exceptions to the rules like I'm just saying generally this is, you know you know hopefully you know what I'm saying I never do yoga so um what you're about to see is literally like a first or second time for me I think I did one yoga class years ago
So don't judge me. why yoga is so good for you mostly because I never stretch like ever and I know how bad that is so it felt really good to like hold the poses and stuff but maybe this class was just too easy I just looked up yoga classes for beginner it was like a 20 minute home yoga workout and um yeah I'm bored out of my mind <laughs> I know you're supposed to be like connecting with the earth and focusing on your breathing but yeah I think I don't know I mean I'm gonna keep trying to do it because I want to like yoga and I know how good it is for you and I feel very like stretched oh my gosh my neck and back had like a lot of tension but I just find it um boring so before you judge me I'll just be the first one to say it yes I did just finish yoga and now I'm having a margarita to end my night and that'll be where I leave you guys as well because I have no idea how long this will be but gosh these leggings are getting too loose it's annoying me and this t-shirt is a size 12 from Lululemon and like I mean I know it's the looser fit ones but my golly I got it like in my real size so that it'd be like a t-shirt you wear with jeans but it, it has some extra material which I guess there are worse things. So the only glasses we really have here are these margarita ones. So got my food scale. We're gonna put it on the fluid ounce setting. Don't watch me open that with my teeth and judge me. Um, so I'm just using Costco tequila. It's the Kirkland brand. And this is a skinny mixes, just the normal margarita, but it's not a normal margarita. It's this, I got it, I get it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, like any of that brand. And for four fluid ounces of this, it's five calories. And normal margaritas can be like 200 plus calories and mostly because of the mix. Obviously tequila, I think it's like 80 calories per shot, don't quote me, but it's usually like the mixes are the problem that have like all the sugar and yeah, I mean it's still just two grams of carbs, but way better than the normal uh, margarita mix, so that is like for sure. So. Just a pro tip, save your like, if you're gonna drink your calories, which again, I talked about this before, I like having a drink every now and then, and I'm just gonna figure out ways to like make it lower calorie if you don't drink, like don't drink, you know? So we're putting the glass on the scale, tearing that. I think that's what you said, tearing, I think so. And then we're gonna do four ounces. Oh my gosh, they're really making this margarita mix secure. So we're gonna do four fluid ounces. Four point one, but close enough. Ugh. And then now we're doing one fluid ounce, which is a shot. Okay, that was a shot. I'm gonna add, well, I'm gonna stir it. Oh my gosh, my nose is running. 
don't judge me, but I'm using my fork from dinner. And I still have my food here, so if I get hungry in a little bit, I will just finish the green beans and the rice in case you are wondering. Or I might have a protein bar before bed. I don't know. I usually have something else. It's only like 6.30 or... No, it's... Oh, it's a little after 7, but I might eat something around 9-ish. this is where I leave you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and comment and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>